Hey there guys, Matt here from Optiquamary. Hope you're all doing well. Right, today we're going to be taking a look at something I got sent for a few weeks back. Um, wasn't able to get out and do any testing with it really because we had torrential rain, snow, high winds, etc, etc. So I haven't been going out a great deal. Um, well, not enough to be able to do a review on this. But basically, I got sent through this a couple of weeks, well, so a couple of weeks back, about five, six weeks ago now. It's a KL52 Plus from a company called Oda Pro, a company that I've never heard of in my life. Um, but I'm quite glad that the guy did contact me through my YouTube and asked me if I'd be happy to do a review on his light for him. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I did, like I say, because it's been a very, very nice little bit of kit to use, to be honest. I mean, I'm not too into my different IRs or torches. I usually just tend to find one that does the job. Um, I'm not after the best on the market. I'm just comfortable to find one that's suitable for my average needs. Um, I use IR on my Excite 2 and the Night Sight if I needed it. Obviously, it's got a built in IR, so therefore, I don't use it so much with the Night Sight. But the Excite doesn't have an IR built in, so therefore, I need one that's going to do me comfortably out to the distances that I like shooting at. With this, it's done a fantastic job. Um, they're currently selling at about under £70, I believe, on Amazon, which ain't a great amount of money, to be honest. And for the product and everything you get in this, I think it's a very reasonable price. I mean, I can't say if it's going to be one of them torches that's going to last you a lifetime. I don't know how long it's going to last, but then it's like anything. You can buy a torch for £300, it might last you a year before you start having issues. I'm not saying that that's the issue with this, because it's done me proud, but is that the divide between stuff that you spend the extra money on and the stuff that you spend less money on? I don't know. I'm, I'm in between. I've used stuff that costs more. I've used stuff that costs less than this, and I've had stuff go wrong with the high-end stuff, not had stuff go wrong with the low-end stuff. So it's just a matter of juggling your thoughts on that stuff when it comes to brands that you haven't heard of and you see these available on Amazon and stuff all the time and um, look, I'm, I'm really glad that I agreed with the guy to do the review he said do the review and you get to keep it now I don't need it but obviously something that I want to be able to put out onto the market and let guys know how well it performs because a bit like myself um, I don't I don't have a lot of money to go out and spend on all of the top end stuff I always just try to find the stuff that does me well and is usable for my needs. Um, I shoot with my HMR, my 22LR at night, with a mixture of the Night Sight and the Excite 2. So therefore, I thought this would be a little addition to the Excite because it doesn't have a built-in IR. And um, it's been great. It's really done me well. I'll put a couple of clips up of both. I've, done a, I've turned the IR down on the Night Sight so you can see how well this does illuminate the night vision. And with the Excite, it's worked extremely well also, giving nice, crisp, clear image, which is vital for ID and quarry. And um, yeah, I mean, 70 quid, tidy little case, fill to the brim with all the accessories you need. On the back of the case, it's got all the spec, run times of the batteries and stuff that come included with this. Um, so we'll have a look at, look at the contents and then we'll, uh, I'll put a couple of clips up just to give you a rough idea of what to expect if you do decide to buy it. And the link will be in the description below. So stay tuned, we'll have a little look at the contents. There'll be a couple of short videos just showing you what it's capable of doing. Um, I'll show you, I haven't got footage of the red, green and white pills, but I've taken them out to test and they do live up to the expectations of the ranges and distances and the battery run times that they've stated on the chart on the back of the box which i felt found quite helpful um so yeah stay tuned we'll have a little look through the contents and then there'll be a bit of footage for you to view at the end so contents of the box the most important bit as you can see as in a previous clip tidy little carry case that it comes with get all the spec printed out on the back of this with all the run times obviously this is all stated with the batteries that come inside so if you are buying batteries for all your torches etc 
they may have they may well have better run times than the ones that they provide in the box but the ones that I've that are included in the box I've tried out this is continuous use and um, obviously I haven't left the tool drawer for this amount of time um, but I know for a fact that they're hitting the stated yards with the IR there's no yardage printed on the box so it's just a matter of trial and error and like I said before it's done me well back to the distances that I shoot at 100 150 yards with the HMR um, with the with the IR pill obviously it goes further it's got a nice zoomable function this so it goes further the tighter you've got the beam and um, it will hit distances out to two three hundred yards for eye shine and ID in quarry which I don't think is too bad at all for 70 pounds so anyway we'll go back to the contents of the case as you can see absolutely everything you need inside whether it be standard figure of eight clamp that I like to call it for going on top of your scope maybe the underneath your barrel everyone has a different preference to using them been using this one with the X sight clips nicely onto the weaver rail that's on the side of the scope and there's a extender rail for that which I found quite useful um, we've got the rat's tail I never really use these a great deal to be honest I mean if you've got a dedicated rifle that you use your night vision with then by all means stick this on the side of it so you do get the silent touch when you're out shooting but I use several different rifles so I don't find the benefit of using that because once it's stuck on one rifle it'll then lose the stickiness so, um, right so then we've got the pills you've got the IR white green and the reds already in the torch doesn't come with its own case you've got two batteries that come with it and a nice little pout and a nice little case they're the 3000 mah batteries and they do run out run out to the good spec times which they're provided that i'll just show you on that chart on the back charger warranty card You've got spare seals for the inside of the torch which I assume does make this all weatherproof. Instructions, user manual. So everything's there you need. 70 pound, got a torch that's gonna last you as long as you look after it. And the actual build of the torch itself is actually really nice to be honest. I mean, they say it's aircraft, aircraft grade aluminium. It's got a real nice feel to it. Quite a soft touch paint on there. Um, Matt Oda Pro KL52 Zoomable function which I'd like on this uh, it's a must on torches these days because every night every night vision seems to work differently with a different amount of spread with what you're giving the IR uh, obviously you can control the distance whether you've got a nice tight beam for distance um, and so it's best to just obviously get your preferred spread of the pill for the IR that's inside and then work out what's best for the NV that you're using um, but I'll take this off what's this control with the I've got the red one in there in a minute you might be able to just see it on there opening the spread of the torch and then when you wind it right out you get a nice tight beam and these are fantastic i've tested them each pill white green and red all very nice so then it's just a switch drawer off that's where you get the all your seals sit nicely in there to keep it nice and tight from the seal from the elements so the battery just pops in there screw that back up wind that all the way down and then to get the pill out I quite like the fact that these are quite tight to get in on and off rather and the same again down this end You've got seals sitting inside there everything seems to be pretty well built all the threads seem quite strong and the pills just wind out I'm 
as so. Sit straight in there on the connection for the battery. And I quite like this feature. Some of the torches that I've used prior to this haven't had this screwing for the pills. It's just been a matter of sitting the pill in the torch and then it's the head that holds the pill in place. But on a few that I've used prior to this one, where they just sit in the body of the torch, the connection can be a little bit temperamental sometimes. I mean, especially if it's cold out and the battery starts getting cold, it does start having a bit of a knock on effect with the connections. But where this is screwed into the body of the torch, and again, the threads seem nice and strong, no wobble in the pill or the connectors. Head goes straight back on there. Like I say, this is, this is quite tight to get on, to be honest, but probably not a bad thing. I think there's an extender rail that you could get for this. I'm not too sure what this cutout's for there, but there could well be a, a sunshade mount that goes on the end of the torch. But the same again down here, you've got nice seals to stop the weather getting in. Now this isn't glass, it's plastic. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, I wouldn't know, but it's, um, I suppose if you drop the torch, there's less chance of it shattering, but it seems to work well nonetheless, glass or plastic. Ways of keeping the cost down, I suppose, but it certainly gives a nice, clear, crisp image with the night, night vision. So yeah, I mean, 70 pound, what more do you want? Nice tidy case, everything you need, mounts, clamps, Allen key, happy days, 70 pound, Amazon, and you get yourself a half decent hunting light. So to follow this guys, there will be a little bit of uh, footage of the torch in, in use on both night, night visions that I use. So I hope that you can see a, a good sort of comparison of how they how well it does perform, especially with the IR. Um, and that's real, really what the main use of this view is for, the IR. I know that a lot of people are always on the market for the IR, but these, the red and the green for the guys that do still lamp work absolutely fantastically. I mean, obviously quarry differs between red, white and green. What, what can they see and what can't they see? does anyone really know but they work extremely well with a nice tight beam or when you've got the spread eye shine picks up fantastic with all the colors and all the pills so i'm really impressed with this um and i hope the review comes across well enough for you to get a good idea of how how efficient it is for 70 pound so stay tuned guys there'll be a couple of clips towards the end and then the review shall end so if you've liked the review please like and subscribe um, it's vital that our industry is continuously supported and um, i'd appreciate any subscribes to the channel likes or shares of the video if you find it beneficial so thanks for watching and uh, there will be a couple of short clips to follow <laughs>